Right, hi, I'm here at a fairly breezy pool, a golf resort in Mallorca, and I've only got one thing in mind, and that's to find out why this is currently by far the number one driver on tour right now. Well, this is a Paradigm with a slight difference in the fact that it's the Paradigm X, and it's very much the most forgiving driver, certainly aimed at more average golfers. It's got slight draw bias on it, so there's every reason that this would favour my type of golf swing, my type of ability. So we're going to go out on the golf course, we're going to tee a few up and I'll see if the Paradigm X is not only the number one driver on tour, but perhaps the number one driver for average golfers. Well that's staying in the air longer than I expected it to. And to be honest with you, done far better than I expected it to. And why I say that is two things. It, it wasn't the best of swings, and it wasn't the best of contacts. It almost felt like I got a little bit of ground on the upswing there before ball. It also sounds quite soft. And that sound means that it doesn't feel like in your head, at least, that it zipped out there, but it basically defied how it sounded, how it felt. And in a positive way, because like I said, I cannot believe that ball carried as far as it did, which suggests the ball speeds were good, even off an off-center hit, if that makes sense. So it's a very positive comment, but I'm a little bit surprised just how well that thing did. Do you know, again, it's fairly early, that's only the third drive of the day, and what's, again, pleasing with this is, when I first did the review of the Paradigm Driver, I was, I was very much concentrated on the looks in terms of, I wasn't a fan of the looks, and maybe that literally put me off, and I was saying a number of videos about looks being really important to some golfers and not to others. Well, for me it is. I didn't like the look of it, Maybe that put me on a down before it even started in terms of the review. I tried it against a number of drivers and it performed incredibly well. It was very, very consistent. And again, out here this morning, what I'm noting, like I said, only third driver shot of the day. It's cold, it's an early start. I'm not swinging hard at this thing at all. In fact, quite the opposite end in terms of swing speed. And this ball is traveling. It's traveling far further than my sort of swing speed suggests, which is similar to what I just said, I know, on that previous tee shot. But that is the most noticeable thing right now. That's the bit that is impressing me. I'm not swinging very fast, I'm not swinging really that well, and yet the ball is still getting me down there and seems to be traveling a good distance at the same time. That's the bit that is hugely surprising and a huge positive. Things are a bit different on this hole and uh, really give me an opportunity to find out whether or not I could possibly game the Paradigm X driver. And what I mean by that is it's a heavily draw bias driver. Um, could be good for me in terms of straightening up what I like to see, which is a bit of left to right shot. But I'm also used to playing a left to right, so I kind of, you know, my tee positioning uh, alignment would be to hit a left to right. So naturally on this hole, I'm going straight at those bunkers with a little cut. What I want to find out is, will it cut, will it stay straight? What does it do in terms of affecting my natural sort of ball flight? There you go, at the bunker, really solid ball. And when I say at the bunker, it's slightly left of the bunker. It's gone a whole long way. I love the feel, and that was the one thing I did pick up on the initial review of the Paradigm, was I was very positive about the sound and feel. And I cannot deny the fact that the ball speeds out of this thing seem really, really impressive, because yet again, it was inside left of the bunker, didn't cut an ounce. It's literally gone bullet straight and it's carried right over the pathway into what is the adjoining fairway. So my alignment was where I would be, ball didn't cut at all, that could be a huge positive for me, but the bigger one is again the noticeable ball speed and the noticeable carry distance that this thing is getting. It's good, you know, I might be changing my mind big time in terms of paradigm right now.
Right, so the golf ball you just seen me hit, well that was from a far different location and far different in terms of weather because I'm not sure if you can pick it up on the camera. It is snowing right now at Hollywell Golf Club, but that won't deter me. I will finish this review of Paradigm X and to be honest with you, it's blowing a bit of a hoolie. It's typical winter conditions in the UK and probably more like what I'm used to so I can give you an almost even more fairer assessment of this golf club's performance. Right, well here's a few more out in the cold and uh, I'll give you my evaluation but that first one off the tee was first swing of the day and I can tell you where it's landed is a whole long way down the fairway. Now this is where for me it's a hole that I don't always play driver. I hit the G430 off this tee box a few weeks back and I basically said it's because it was the most uh, confidence I had in terms of the club in the bag and I feel the same way about the Paradigm X so let's see if we can go across the corner with this thing and the answer is yes that's absolutely and that's into a wind into and off the left and trust me that has not moved in terms of no kind of uh, movement in terms of spin neither left or right which is probably the most impressive thing and the thing that I love most about Paradigm X is it's very much neutralizing my fade and uh, I can aim straight down the middle or in this case straight across the corner you can see where I'm going with this one Today's video is brought to you in partnership with Shervo, the premium Italian golfwear and sportswear brand. By using some of the most innovative fabrics, Shervo produce clothing that is both stylish and incredibly comfortable to wear, both on and off the golf course. For more information, visit the Shervo website, and I will, of course, provide a link in the description of this video. Right, let's get back to the golf. Right, a little bit of shelter before I attempt my next shot. The interesting bit for me on this is the sort of shape and profile. If I was being perfectly honest with you, it's not ideal on my eye. It's one of the things that uh, I've already mentioned in terms of my previous reviews of Paradigm is that from a looks perspective, I'm not overly keen at that address position. The other thing with the X model is obviously it's a little bit more draw biased and more offset at address. And again, would normally put me off, but both of those things are overcome based on just how good this thing is performing right now. The kind of offset and the setup at address is very much like the Big Bertha B21 in my opinion, which I gained for quite some time. And again, the only issue I had with that drive was that I found that I was sort of messing around a lot at the address position because I was trying to find a comfortable sort of uh, position for me to see that ball at address. I don't feel like I'm doing that with the Paradigm X. And to be honest with you, the other big notable thing is I'm just swinging my kind of normal swing, if you like. So a, a, a cut swing, uh, but the ball isn't cutting. So I'm really seeing the help of that draw bias. But again, when I played it with the B21, yes, it negated the kind of fade a little bit, but it also lowered the ball flight. It was a bit shut the club face as well at times. And I had the tendency to close one off and go left. Whereas with this, I'm sitting in a, uh, a neutral position, the sort of standard position at address, swinging my normal swing, ball flight is really good, and at the same time, it's giving me a straight ball flight. So all those things are hugely positive, and I think that's why this club would appeal to the vast majority of average golfers, and obviously because most of us have that cut fade in our swing. Right, I'm going to try one more. And I think that's enough to uh, make a decision on this one. Right, take a bit of cover to do the conclusion of this video and uh, oh my word, it's pretty horrendous up here. I feel as though the bad weather has followed me around, whether I've been in Arizona, out in Mallorca, or now up in Hollywell. But yeah, pretty grim conditions. But the thing I like about that, like I said, is the driver itself has well and truly been put through its paces in the kind of conditions at least that I'm used to, which is more like this. And I've got to say, hugely impressive that last drive again. 
Super Bowl flight um, straight. I mean, that's the big deal for me. Straight is the key word I would use on virtually everything that I've hit. And don't forget that someone from someone who effectively fades the ball. So Paradigm X is doing what it should do, but it's doing it in a way that I think sounds fantastic, feel is fantastic. Ball speeds seem really good. We learned that from the initial test in a Paradigm. It's clear to see why this driver is definitely the number one in the world right now in terms of wins. Um, maybe not the Paradigm X, but as a lineup, Paradigm have got a winning formula on their hands, or Callaway have in the Paradigm lineup. I am literally struggling right now. The wind and snow is uh, bouncing off my face. I'm going to call it a day. I hope you appreciate the effort that I've gone to in putting this one together. It's minus one with a wind chill of about minus five or six. I'll see you tomorrow night.